Hey y'all, we are over here at the Biloxi Community Center and I'm going to go ahead and call this segment Hidden in Plain Sight. We have the honor and the blessing to be going behind or in their shoes behind the scenes with Damon Harrison. Hey. He is somebody who's dealing with homelessness right here in Biloxi on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Thank you so much for Thank interviewing you. with us. Thank you. So you were telling me you live here at the or behind the community center but I don't see anything. Mm -hmm. Okay in the morning when I get up I take my tarp. Oh it's hidden in here. I put it right here. Boom. But these, these are your clothes right here. These are my clothes. Okay. These is this is my shoe bag right here. You got a double bag. I yeah, like that. Double bag. So it don't get wet. Okay. Okay. This is my yoga mat. I put this down first. Yoga mat first. Yes. What comes after that? Uh, the moving blankets. Damon, how long have you been homeless? Off and on, since probably about 2009, since I got divorced. Yeah, off and on. How, how do you get here? How does this happen? Well, bad choices, um, wrong people, and just like, you know, life sometimes deal, deals you, you know what I'm saying, this card, and the only thing you can do is just not give up. Come on, I can't believe you do this every day, every uh -huh. night. You lay it out, and then you, you fold it back up. Yep, in the morning. I'm not getting up doing all the, the riff raff. nothing. I'm here up the next morning to go to work, back to sleep, and so on. I've never dealt with homelessness mm -hmm. in my entire life, and yeah. I, I don't understand it. Mm -hmm. I don't understand, like, I guess people might say, like, well, can't you just get a job and, and, and then get yourself a place? Like, what's the deal? It's really not that easy, because, like, most of the time, homelessness is tied on, like, with some underlying issues. Like, uh, you got a lot of mental health, you know what I'm saying? You, drug use, you know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, this is like rock bottom. When you get here, like, you ain't got nowhere to go but up. Where are you headed? Oh, to the top. When it comes to your job at Fish and Loaves, mm -hmm. what do you do exactly? Whatever they need me to do. We really don't have a designated job other than to do the work of God. But you're feeding people feeding several people. times a week, several times a day. Mm -hmm and providing food and whatever it is they might need. Yeah, like helping out with showers, uh, unloading, you know what I'm saying, the, uh, the donations, just whatever. So what's in your bag? I have like notes, cause like I'll be having to write stuff down. I have my Bible in here, but I took it out cause my scrap is breaking and it was getting too heavy for oh, it. Oh, and I see some Vaseline. Yeah, I'm ashy. And I thought I had uh, E. coli, so I got that. Hey, very important at this very moment. Yes, that's, that's right. important. Yeah. This is my notes like when I write my music. Um, so that's right, you sing. Yes. Uh-huh, I heard you sing but country. I, you know, I love country. I, I can sing, I, what you, what I you love want to I love Luke Combs. I like, see like the Outlaw song, you know what I'm saying, he's passing the torch. And I feel like that he's calling on for the next, he's, he's like giving an introduction for somebody to come in the game. And with my background running the streets and the shenanigans, you know what I'm saying, I feel like that I fit that criteria. He asked me one more time. Oh, you sure ain't done it that way. We don't need another pretty boy singing pretty song. Big country boys doing country all wrong. We need another haggler. Oh, Johnny Cash, somebody chewing the back. And we've been hands and need a preacher. And need a savior. How about y'all? Can I be your outlaw? <laughs> you have a wonderful voice. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh I am so honored to Thank have you. met you. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. You are a Such an eye opening story for sure. Another thing Damon had in his bag was hand and feet warmers. He said those small little packets that you can get from the store really make a huge difference when the temperatures get cold. Well, when Good Morning Mississippi returns, state Democrats.